Why are you so quiet in here? Manny, <laughs> congratulations, Manny. This fight's been building for a number of months now. It's no secret the animosity between you two. Leading into this matchup, talk about how personal this was for you. You know, at the end of the day, this opportunity was about myself. I could care less about him. He's just a person that I had to go through. Um, when it comes to the beef and stuff, um, I don't really care. It's in the past. He, he's not relevant in my life. He's not relevant to my day-to-day -day life, my any-day life, really. Um, you know, adds to it. I guess it, it did bring a little bit more excitement. But at the end of the day, me being here, it's all about myself. It's my opportunity. It's my time to, to, to walk up there and do what I do. Um, you know, everything played out exactly how it was supposed to go. And, um, you know, I'm happy with that. But and in terms of the beef or anything, it, it's behind me. I don't I don't care about that. I, I live my life the way I want to live it, and I don't let anyone intervene on that. You know, the hype and the buildup leading to this was, you know, KO Chris's power and, you know, your chin being undeniable. How did it feel, you know, receiving those strikes from Chris? Um, I don't I don't I don't think he's the hardest I, I, I've been hit by. I think Cole swings a little bit harder, his placement's off, and I think Wesley hits harder overall. Um, you know, it was good. I'm not going to knock him at all. He does throw a good slap. Um, you know, I do think some of them were a little bit off. Um, you know, he was on the neck a lot. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I knew my chin would hold up. I'm prepared for anything and all things. It's not the hardest I've ever been hit. It's not the hardest I'll ever be hit. Um, you know, I've gone through through life, and that's that hits much harder than anything. Is there any strategy by going on one in round one? Yeah, honestly, I was really worried he was going to flinch, which, you know, as we saw, he flinched damn near on every single one of them. He's all over the place. So the, the strategy going on one was to try to, you know, catch him, you know, one spot before he started moving around and getting all anxious. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a clean match by any stretch. Um, you know, was it getting to you? Was it frustrating kind of seeing how, how it was unfolding? Not at all. He could bring a fucking bat up there and hit me with that. It doesn't fucking matter at all. I, I'm there to eat whatever he has for me. Um, all I care about is myself. That's all I care about when I'm up there. Make sure I'm in the perfect stance, take those blows the best I can, and deliver the perfect slap. Um, I, I know your family was here in attendance. What did it mean to compete in front of them, your brother, your mother? Yeah, it means it means the world to me. You know, um, you know, I try to I try to be the role model I'm supposed to be for my brothers. I try to do the best I can in life. Um, you know, show them how to fight through adversity, show them how to fight through all things, you know, work hard for some things in life. So it meant a lot to me to be able to show that today. Um, you know, Robert Trujillo won again. He spoke what his desire potentially to go up to 170. Yeah. I know you guys are friends. Rob, Rob's like my best friend. He knows damn well he's not coming up to 170. We, I could never slap that guy wholeheartedly and actually try to hurt him. Uh, I love Rob. Uh, I will say that Power Slap needs to get some more 155 or so Rob can get the, the, the belt that he rightfully deserves because he's easily, you know, pound for pound, one of the best, if not the best in Power Slap. Congratulations. Thank you. I've just got one. You, you mentioned that you have a friend. You wouldn't want to slap him. Do you need that animosity? Or I don't, is it I don't, just that you no. don't want? I don't, I don't need the animosity at all. The, the truth of the matter is, Rob, uh, you know, for those of you who don't know, Rob is an excellent MMA fighter with a, a career in MMA. Um, I think he's going to go a long way, you know, maybe into the UFC belts or whatever it is. Um, you know, hopefully he gets picked up sooner rather than later. But I think Rob has a, a long, really good career in, in, in MMA in the UFC, hopefully. And I don't want to take from that at all. I don't want to, you know, add any slaps or brain injuries or anything like that at all. Rob's one of my best friends. He's been one of my best friends since we started started this. So I just respect him too much to, to do that. Oh. You were the main event of the first paid attendance with the crowd at Power Slap. You put on a show. How does it feel? Uh, man, it feels great. Uh, Would have been amazing if I had just put him out on one. but. You know, at the end of the day, uh, I think the match speaks volumes of who I am as a person, who I am as a, as a power slapper, uh, striker. You know, I've got the best chin in the sport. You know, I'm, I'm here to stay. I'm, you know, going to win the war of attrition every single time. I'm going to get up every single time, and I'm going to come back strong, stronger every single time. Now that you hold a power slap belt over here, now that you hold a power slap belt, what do you foresee in your power slap career in the future? Yeah, I definitely want to, you know, defend it. Um you know, I'm sure the media knows that that California has approved it for, for an event. Um, I hope I can get on that card and defend on that card. It would be amazing. You know, I'm from California. I'd love to have all my people there. I'd love to have my city there. Um, you know, I definitely plan on defending it a few times. Um, further past that, you know, I want to get into to MMA. I want to go pro in MMA sometime in the next few years. Um, I don't want to continue growing, not just in power stuff, but in life. I want to continue being a better person every single day. I want to continue growing as, as a human being.
Congrats. Thank you. Hey, Mel of uh, Matt McClellan, Knockout Radio. Uh, my first time in attendance here. Uh, we were at the NFL all day. We saw legends come through, Chuck Liddell, um, pioneers of the UFC where it was 30 years ago. And now here you are in the pioneer section of SLAP. Um, do you think about the future? Do you think about becoming a, an iconic, legendary figure in this sport? Yeah, you know, um, that's actually wonderful you bring that up because, you know, if you looked on the stage tonight, you'd see Forrest Griffin on the stage catching us. Forrest Griffin, you know, he was winner of Ultimate Fighter 1. Um, so it's amazing to, you know, be a part of the sport at, a, at an early age um, to help their sport grow. You know, I was the coach on the last season um, to help these these other slappers grow and learn and learn everything they can about this. And um, it, it's amazing to be a part of that. It's amazing to be some someone who's pioneering something. And Monroe, congrats on the win. Uh, we've seen the different looks before. Was there any specific reason for the color today of the hair? Yeah, uh, <laughs> red is my color, if I'm being honest with you. But uh, the red and blue just wasn't matching correctly for me. And uh, purple, purple is a color of royalty, for those of you who know. Purple is a color of royalty. Tonight, I got crowned the champ. So, congrats, man. That's what's up. And last for me, uh, you got the family in town, Super Bowl weekend, all kind of stuff. We got the UFC fighting out of the Apex. How do you celebrate with that, you, you know, uh, belt around your waist? I'm going to celebrate at the gym. I'm going to get back get back home. I'm going to get back to work. I'm going to come back better than I was today, better than I was today, yesterday. You know, I'm just going to continue to grow and learn. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations. I got a question for you. You kind of broke him down over five rounds and, and won in a dominant fashion. Is that more satisfying than just getting like a one-round knockout? <laughs> My face would tell you otherwise, but – Absolutely. Uh, you know, to win the war of attrition, you know, to, to continue to, to grind it down like that, that speaks volumes of who I am as a person. I, I'll never quit. I'll never give up on anything, especially not myself. So to win in the fifth round by knockout is picture perfect. Thank you. One more, one more, one more. To be in that environment in the house, and just, you know, you've seen it over the years and it, it grew with the ultimate fighter. And now you see the first, again, my Live fans, pain, and Super Bowl weekend. How does that, what is that environment like? And now you see how the event grew, and I'm sure the numbers are probably the biggest they've ever been. How does that feel to be the main main headliner? Man, it was, it was awesome to, to look out into the crowd and, you know, see some really recognizable faces, you know, look down and see Dana and Travis Scott. It's pretty freaking crazy. Um, to know that all these people are here to watch me is, is amazing, and I'm glad I was able to put on a show and, you know, excite the fans. Um, you know, I can't wait for this sport to continue to grow and grow. You know, obviously, we see where the UFC is today, and I hope one day we can get there as well. Thank you very much, guys.